Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I just wanna talk about what are your options if you are going to uh, have a number of Ice River KS Zeros or KS Zero Pros. What is available to you to improve the hash rate of your machines? We've got a few options right here, a few not in front of us right now, but that I'm gonna talk about in this video. And I just wanna go over it with you. We're not gonna be diving into the firmware. We'll do that in a separate video later on. Uh, but just stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe uh, for more. But and before we continue, a huge shout out to Coin Mining Central who helped us get our hands on the KS Zero Pro. But if you're looking for Casper mining equipment, they got you covered, ranging from the Zero Pro all the way to the KS3, 3M, L, 2s, and 1s. Some of the older generation models have been phased out, so you're only going to be able to get those from the secondhand market. But if you're looking for ASIC mining equipment or just crypto mining equipment in general, Check out the new arrivals. They got everything from Bitmain, Ice River, What's Miner, so on and so forth. They'll be linked down in the description. And let's get right back into the video. More, but first, we have the Veteran Miner's uh, six pin to barrel plug connector. Um, you can get this off of their website, but I would urge caution because if you are going to be utilizing the firmware provided by T-Swift or any third party firmware where you're pushing the hash rate on these things, you do not want to be pushing a lot of power through these cables. Now, it can handle it, but there's only a certain amount that it can handle before you start burning connectors or burning connections or the barrel plug or even your KS0. So just be mindful of that. Additionally, improving the cooling solution, right? Right now, these guys just ship in this uh, aluminum heat sink. It gets really hot to the touch. I can only hold my hand on there for so long. And I would urge caution with that. You could put some uh, regular 120 mil fans like this Arctic fan here. Uh, it's only a three pin. It only goes up to like 15, maybe only 1200 RPM. Whereas what we have here is the AC Infinity fans. And I actually had this axle fan set left over because I got its bigger brother on top of my tent for my mining rigs. So I just pulled it out and attached it to the KS0 Pro, which is what we have in front of us. And on one side, it actually has an area where we can mount it. Now I did kind of uh, jangly, uh, you know, mount it to the heatsink with zip ties, but it does the job, it does the job fine. And then we have another fan blowing in through this side because you can see the side pieces or plates are removed. Takes me to another option you have. On the meter box, um, they are selling the side plates that have holes in them. They're perforated so that way airflow can go right through it, no problem. Additionally, on uh, T-Swift's Telegram, they have the SLT files if you do have a 3D printer to print your own uh, you know, side grills, so to speak. But just be careful of the material you're using because this bad boy does get really hot and if you're not using a high heat ABS, you wind, you're gonna wind up start to melt those side plates. But option one, veteran miner barrel plug, that comes in very handy if we have, say we had five uh, KS zeros right here, we could easily grab a HP power supply and a breakout board and just connect all five into one instead of having to have uh, you know, a power brick for every single one. So that does make life a little bit more convenient. Check out the Veteran Miner linked in the description. Two, this actual, uh, this actual uh, AC uh, Infinity fan kit is actually one of the ones recommended by uh, the group in the T-Swift Discord and many others. Um, my fellow colleagues already had them as well. So it just worked out that I already had these down in my junk area over there and i just pulled them out mounted it and good to go haven't got the side plates yet but i found there was another 3d printed uh piece you can make to where you're mounting i guess this fan or you're kind of funneling all the airflow of this fan through this side port there and so that's just going to improve your cooling which should in theory improve your hash rate you're not going to get much unless you update the firmware but anything you can do to, to eke out that little bit more efficient, you know, a little bit more hash rate and be more efficient and, you know, produce less heat, the better your equipment's gonna be. So I just wanted to go over those options. As far as installing this, uh, which includes, you know, fan grills, as you can see, um, I got both the, there's two grills per fan on this particular kit. I don't have one on the inside here, obviously, because it's against the, uh, the heat sink itself, but I have one on the outside and then this one because there's nothing really mounting to it. Uh, one on either side to make sure if my kids throw something in this direction, they'll get hurt. Little pamphlet, all the hardware we need, uh, but these screws, these two long ones, while they did fit in the mounting holes of the heat sink on the KS0 Pro, 
um, they would not be long enough to for the for it to make contact going through the fan holes in each of the four corners. So that's why I went with the zip ties. The other hardware, uh, you know, these are just rubber washers, really, really long screws. You can see how long those are. Uh, and then some nuts to hold it down. We've got some bracketry here that we could utilize maybe for mounting the fans. Uh, another pack of hardware, smaller screws or less, no, those are even longer. Yeah, those are even longer. And um, some rubber washers and that's pretty much it. That's what you're gonna get with the AC Infinity kit. Uh, if you do grab some server fans, like say you had some left over from like your What's Mine or a Bitmain, maybe you can utilize that and check out uh, my buddy, um, Matt Electron, who took the four pin in here, right? So these two small fans, he took those out. He connected two fans to the four pin PWM and then connected it to a splitter slash fan controller from my understanding. And then uh, was able to step up the uh, power because the, the fans that they replaced, you know, obviously these fans draw more power than these fans. So he needed to step it up and he was able to improve the cooling solution on his particular miner as well. And all of this leads into, okay, well now that I improved my cooling solution, now we can upgrade the firmware. So uh, veteran miner gives you a little bit more breathing room for power, but I wouldn't go doing the 300 and whatever uh, giga hash uh, firmware version if you're not monitoring the power and being careful what you're putting through these connectors what well, I do believe you know these are good gauge wires uh, well well crafted work braided cables looks really good I don't want you to to damage your connector your barrel plug or your miner so just be mindful of that uh, while you can get the 3d printed slits from uh, whether you print it yourself or the meter box to improve airflow or you get some server fans or the AC infinity fans just make sure you're improving your thermals and everything is in check before you go uh, upgrading the firmware. Like I said, we'll check out the firmware in a different video. Uh, we can see the MOSFETs that uh, our buddy T Swift and many others have warned about. They're actually way back there. I just can't get a good shot at it. I can see it, but you guys can't. I can see the silver chokes and the MOSFETs. There they are. You see how they're poking up right now? Those need heat sinks. So I'm gonna work on, on getting those and we're gonna get some epoxy. And you just have to stay tuned to the channel so we can compare uh, stock versus this. And I do have a stock unit here in my son's room. This is his device to manage, just running off of the normal uh, you know, power brick, 120 watt. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything crazy to this one. I'm gonna leave it as is, hashing away. It's been working just fine, but now we can compare one to the other, leave this stock apply the firmware in a future video and look at the differences, not only cool, cooling wise, um, but you know, stock versus updated firmware and see what we can push these KS0 Pros to. But that is all I wanted to cover in today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification button to stay up to date as well. Check out links in the description where we'll have all of this down there for you. Uh, some of them are affiliate links and kickbacks to the channel, so I greatly appreciate the support. And I just hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.